second thought. I think those tears of yours might come in handy next time we're in a scrape. Well, there has to be a tear around for me to use. I can't just pull them out of thin air. Here's some cash. Take it. That'll do. God makes all kinds of soldiers, but he only made one Cornelius Slate. My father followed him up San Juan Hill, through the legations in Peking, and as he put it, through hell the order was given. At today's muster, Slate asked me if I was Sergeant Monroe's daughter. I said, yes, sir, I am. Slate said, your father always wanted a son. I hope the fool has wisdom enough to recognize his good fortune. Found some money. Want it? Thanks.
book for a cipher. A secret message from the Vox Populi. Secret codes? The cipher should be around somewhere. We could take those skylines above us. We just need to find a way to clear up that cargo first. On to this. Appreciate it. I'm sure of it. Huh. Let's see. Tip the hat to the fox. Well, there must be more to this place than meets the eye. Daisy Fitzroy. I've 
read about her. Books say she's out to tear Columbia from the sky. Everybody's got a dream. I don't want to be a part of their world. I don't want to be a part of their culture, their politics, their people. The sun is setting on their world, and soon enough, all they gonna see is the dark. The one thing people need to learn is that fear is the antidote to fear. I don't want to be a part of their world. I don't want to be a part of their culture, their politics, their people. The sun is setting on their world, and soon enough, all they gonna see is the dark. Just what the doctor ordered. Okay. Tip there were contraband guns hidden in the fellow traveler. Didn't find them, but funny thing, we found some old uniforms under the floorboards from the war. <laughs> Took guesses as to why they were there, but <laughs> who's there? You're slate, right? Sir? Put the guns down! Did you hear that, Comstock? That is the sound you have never heard. The sound of a soldier's end. Come to your hall of heroes. Prove me a liar. Take a look at this lock. Let me see. There you go.
This is going to be fantastic. Think that keen eye of yours could find some ammunition lying around? I sure could use it when there's trouble. It'll take some scrounging, but I'll do my best. Line's clear. Slate? I actually know the fellow. Seems he's still got a knack for making enemies. Oh! 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 Oh!
Here's some cash. Thanks. man who takes a stand for God and sweetest fatherland, but here's the place where we revere the heroes of our city dear. takes a stand for God and sweetest fatherland, but here's the place where we revere the hero 
walls of our city fear. Prophet Father Comstock, commander of the 7th Cavalry. That man did not lead the 7th. Hell, I don't even remember the guy. Corporal DeWitt proved his worth on the field that day. Well, I'll be. Slate? Is that you? You've always been different, haven't you, Booker? You crave no glory. Look, I see you're caught up in some kind of jam here. If you could see fit to let us through to where they keep the shock jockey, and we'll that tin soldier, Comstock, wants my boys dead. We won't die at his hands. There's going to be trouble. All my men have left is a choice. Die at the hands of a tin soldier, or a real one! <laughs> <laughs> Give us the shock jockey. If you want the vigor, Booker, you will give my men a soldier's death. They wait for you in wounded knee and Peaky.
Nice. I'll try to keep you stocked with both bandages and ammo, but the right materials aren't always at hand. 